Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, let us understand how we can download all blobs from storage account container using .NET Core. Before that, please subscribe to my channel for more videos on Azure. Here, I am inside my storage account. If you don't know how we can create a storage account, you can click on the I symbol at the top of this video. At present, I don't have any containers, so I'm going into the container and creating a container. I'm naming it as demo container. Please note that the name should be in lowercase. Click on create. Now go inside the container and upload the files. I'm selecting all these five files over here. Click on upload. All files are uploaded. We have to take the connection string of storage account. So go inside storage account and go to access keys. And here it has two connection strings. You can use any of these connection strings. I'm copying one connection string. And here I have created a sample .NET Core application. And here I'm declaring a variable static string connection string. And pasted the connection string over here. And also we need to know the container name. I'm declaring one more variable. And also we have to add a NuGet package. Manage NuGet package. Browse. Search for storage. Install azure.storage.blobs. Accept. We have to create blob service client class object. using azure.storage.blobs blob service client new blob service client connection string and now we have to create the blob container client We can get the container client from the blob service client as the container client is a child of the blob service client and here we have to pass the container name and now here where blobs is equal to container client dot get blobs it will give us all the blobs inside that particular container I'm iterating over the blobs where blob in blobs. Let us print the name of blob console.write line blob dot name. Now here blob client blob client is equal to container client. We can get the blob client using the container client as blobs are the children of the container and here we have to pass blob dot name now we can download the file using blob client so blob client dot download to and here we can give the path to download so i'm giving a path c colon slash temp slash output files slash and also here we have to give the file name so we can give the same name of blob and here i'm writing console dot read now just run this program now we got all the blobs name that we have uploaded and also inside the output files it downloaded all the files that is all in this demo if you like my explanation please subscribe to my channel and also give a like to this video thank you